I found out, um, <laughs> listening back to it, uh, the other day, that, uh, my stream, or at least this music, is woefully out of sync with my audio. Uh, and I don't even have my laptop out, I can't even see this. I've completely gone unprepared. How, how professional. <laughs> oh, I swear. How's everyone doing this fine Monday, the 1st of February, 2021? It's the beginning of a new month, uh, and that's... I always find it's weird that February is the shortest month. Like, you got your leap day, sure, but then it's like, why exactly do we have one month with 29 or 28 days? Like, why not have 31 or 30? You have 31 on 5 of the months, you have 30 on 6, and then, uh, yeah, and then sometimes it's 6 and 6. Like, yeah, I don't know why, why February is 28. Who decided that? That's a fun one. Uh, so instead, yeah, we've got 8 months with, well, sorry, 7 months with 31 days, and then... February is just awkwardly here with 28, and it's like, okay, okay, I see how that's gonna be. So, let me just pull up my stream manager on my end, and I can, away I go. Sweet. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, in relatively recent news, I guess the 28th of, oh, sorry, the, um, what was it, the 11th of February is Lunar New Year, so... Happy Lunar New Year, almost. I guess I'll probably be doing a stream before that, but um, I got my news. Got decorations been set up, and I th think some places will be starting to celebrate it, uh, like on the fourth, for a number of days leading up. Um, so yeah, that's always good fun. I I really appreciate like especially like celebrations that you don't personally participate in um not sorry that, that sounds no as, as in like other people's kinds of celebrations it's like oh that's you know it's kind of neat and just like you know, interesting what kinds of things and what what's the values what's what's being celebrated um because everyone always celebrates different things that's that's i, I think something wonderful about society uh and with that uh, profound statement. Uh, I'm gonna boot up Golden Sun, and I'm gonna hope that if I start up studio mode, I can see that the stream is indeed there. Let's go into it. So, Golden Sun. Uh, it's a game. Uh, I hope everything is all good already. Um, should be able to just jump right back into this. Now, I'm on the world map, and I believe what happened was we did the, the tower, and all I know is that now I have a four-person party, and we're going somewhere. I've completely forgotten where I'm going, but we'll figure it out. Uh, and I guess I could just beat up the gnome. Um, so as a, as a continuation of what happened last uh, stream, I did mention that I had computer parts in the mail, or I think I had um, the case come in the mail um, on the day, on on the day of the stream. But I was like, oh, I'm not doing it because I need the cooler at the same time. Uh, that cooler, unfortunately, didn't come in until right at the end of uh, the Wednesday, which was right at the latest that they said they'd leave it. Um, interestingly, both packages were left outside my front door without signing and they were said specifically you gotta sign for it so I don't know postal services like a, like you're on time I guess like you, you know they gave an estimated time and they all went at least by that estimated time uh, but I'm not a big fan of buzzing for my apartment and then leaving just why I, I live in an apartment block it's not the easiest to to come right down and take something without signing it, so... Uh, 
Unfortunately, the goods were all good, all there. And then came the fun part of building the computer, which I did so the day after on the Thursday. Um, uh, I'd started well in the morning, and then... Uh, so, I think this would make it officially the first, like, rig that I've done in full hardware-wise. Uh, the reason is, is because I've always had a bit of a, um, a local technician to, um... Is that not, like, movable? Because that really does look movable, but... One day I, I'll come back here and figure out how to do this. I'm pretty sure you can, like, make ice pillars. Oh, unless you do it. Oh, you do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Would Frost... M move it? Or would it just, like... Sorry, would Frost, like, get rid of it? Or is it more like Frost puts it there and then I use a different one to move it? So... Uh, so this would legitimately be the first, like, thing I've done in full. Now, I've done bits of my computer, uh, to the extent that I have effectively done a full rig. Um, so, uh, my... The one thing I guess I hadn't done was take a brand new case and then do stuff with it. Um, but my existing case, it's like, well, I got a new motherboard and I, like, uh, I, I guess I didn't change the power supply, but it, now, that one seems pretty easy enough. And I definitely removed it before, because my last case was like, it was inconvenient um so i think i had done like everything in that old case um but anyway so uh well it doesn't seem like anyone can melt anything so if you can unfreeze this no uh, you could definitely freeze this right screen so you know it's good oh does it melt Okay, I picked up on it. I picked up on it. Sure. Uh, so, the first thing was, uh, I guess, taking out all the necessary things from my old rig. So, it ended up being the entire rig. Uh, everything came out, and it was pretty alright. Uh, the only thing, I guess, was uh, desk space. I didn't really have much afterwards so um i'd highly recommend if you guys are doing this yourself make sure you got a lot of room you're going to need it um so then yeah so it's taking out the bits i took out the power supply first i was just like i want to take that out uh the uh processor sorry not the processor the um the motherboard with the RAM and the processor on it. Um, I have a I had a all-in-one cooler before, so that uh, was removed and just kind of bad because I knew I didn't really need it. Um, discs, and then I think that was it. I think that was it. I've, I've left the I had a disc drive in there. That's still in the case. I don't have room for a new one. And yeah, I know it's a little sad when the disc drive is unfortunately going. Um, I freeze the the fire. What is that fire? It's just fire for the sake of fire. Just to melt this. That's interesting. Okay. Um. So yeah, there was nothing too weird about taking it out of the machine, out of the old one. Then the fun part uh, was putting new things into the new, the new one. So, the first thing I wanted to figure out was would the cooler fit in the old case? Because that's... <laughs> that was a question burning in my mind. I was like, D like, did I buy this case just to, like, just because it looked nice? And the answer was no. The, the cooler legitimately wouldn't have fit in my old case. Um, the old case was a, a Corsair Spec 03. Um, it's probably okay for its price. Maybe? I don't quite know how expensive it probably would have been. I, I spent 150 bucks on my case, Australian, mind you. Um, and I'm like, yeah, I mean, at some point, like, I guess you could, you know, see the budget, but... You know, if you're willing to spend a little bit more, the tooling's nice. Uh, of the, uh, the Lian Lee Land Cool 2 mesh performance. I, I, I do like the feel of it. The one thing I don't quite like about it is that it's a little unwieldy. <laughs> 
uh, working with the, the side panels um, while like tipping it because I, I tip my machine to, to put stuff down so I do all my um, like well I'll, I'll lay the computer flat to do everything and then I just kind of lift it up if I need access to the back um, just makes it a lot easier like say mount the motherboard put the, the thermal paste on put the cooler on uh, screw anything because a lot of the screws go long ways uh, such as all the motherboard standoffs so we'll get into that so the first thing uh, I encountered was uh, okay let's put the cooler on so the cooler uses the stock back plate this is a fun one when you're when you you have someone else build the computer and then you need to get a, a thing that was from the original parts out of whatever they had um, so I spent like 20 minutes searching for the, the old back plate and I was a little concerned and I was going to take apart an even old machine that I knew had, uh, I think it was, um, oh, I forgot what, like what chipset it was, it's a Z97 motherboard chipset and it's LGA something, it was one, one of the other like 115 um, chipsets but I believe the back plate's the same would have been quite inconvenient. Fortunately I did find the old backlight so that sorted itself out but that was fun. Uh, and then it was also, oh yeah, since I'm taking off the backlight, the CPU has to come out. So keep this in mind for a little bit later. Um, so the CPU comes out, backlight's on, okay so then I just pop the CPU back in um, and then away we go. Like, like we'll just keep working. And then like okay so motherboard has to go into the case so the other fun part is, the standoffs really didn't fit. So I think my computer's being held in by like, four standoffs out of the nine. Someone would yell at me for that, but I'm just like, well, that's the job. I feel like I come back here with like a water ability, because that seems to be two things that I need water for. Unless I don't leave here at all. If only there was a previously on... on... thingo. And it's not like I recorded myself playing the game, so that I know exactly where I'm supposed to go. Instead, it's entirely the game's fault. I feel like I should explore left first. I feel like left is the place to be. Uh, that's a dead end, nice. Uh, these enemies are gonna be cakewalks. So that, oh, that'd be nice. Um, but, like, for the most part, the motherboard fits in, it's not falling out, and it doesn't really move, like, it should be fine. So that's in, uh, and then, did I put the power supply in? I think I left the power supply for a fair bit later. Um, oh gosh, where did you go? <laughs> Get out of here, it's been a bit. Uh, so then, I think... What I just wanted to test out, I noticed that the case had a fan controller, and I, and had, it's got three fans on it, so I'm like, okay, so, I plug the fan controller in, and, it didn't go anywhere. Fans weren't on. And also terrifyingly, so I didn't have the GPU put in, but I've got a 9700K, it's got integrated graphics. Why is it not posting? So I turn it off, turn it back on again. Okay, well it took its time to post, but like, why is, like, why is it now not going to the BIOS? It, like, went black and then BIOS. And I don't have any drives plugged in, so, like, it's not booting into anything, but why no BIOS? So I was a bit concerned. I was like, oh no, what's going on here? Um, now, I don't have a cooler on the, the CPU, but I also didn't believe that to be an issue. Um, but it's like, yeah, why is it not going to the BIOS? One out of ten times it would go into the BIOS, and you know, I just found out that it might be a quirk with the the, the motherboard. It just doesn't like go into the BIOS, and it, that took me like an hour and a half to like really get my head around. It's like what actually was happening there. Now I was terrified because remember where I said that oh I had taken off the, the CPU. I was terrified that I had bent a pin, and I may have, but. Everything seems fine now. Just know that the ending seems all okay. Uh, but I'm just like, yeah, this is this is terrifying. Like, I was hoping this would just be like a physical, you know, upgrade. The case and the cooler, nothing else. Uh, but yeah, now nah, putting the CPU out and then 
terrifying. So the ram had gone out and in a few times, and then eventually, yeah, I just figured out, hey, if I've got the graphics card in, it seems to post. So it might be a, a BIOS setting. I don't know. It's a bit inconvenient, but sure. Um, so then, uh, other than that, the rest of it was pretty simple. The fans still wouldn't go. That was one thing I still had never figured out. Maybe I'm just looking or putting the fan header in the really wrong spot. I'm like putting the one that's coming out of the back with, or coming out of the controller with CPU one or fan one. Let me in. Dang it. One day I will figure out what to do here. I can freeze these now. I guess there's that. That's one thing that's making me think of coming back here. So now I can come here and go... Which freezes and pushes that up. That's what I was thinking. Are these buttons? They're just on the wall. That's a top, top save. Uh, but yeah, other than that, rest of the rig was fine. Um, and I just plugged the fans in uh, manually. I didn't like just go to the controller. I just it was like, oh, I've got plenty of fan headers. So, um, I'll maybe figure that out later. The case seems to be pretty cool. The CPU is literally like 35 degrees less than it used to be. Um, so I'm not measuring the temperature now, but like I, I, I gave it a Cinebench test. Or rather, I turned the, the, the BIOS, I upped the CPU from its 4.6 base turbo to 4.9 all-core. And it's running at 82 degrees Celsius at its, like, well, like on Cinebench. It may be a, a bit more intensive of a workload, but it's like, that's pretty good. Because it's not throttling, and you used to throttle so hard. So, I'm very happy about that, and I'm glad... Oh, and I'm also glad that, yeah, I've got Noctua NHD15. It's massive! I can't get over how massive this thing is. Like, I... it's just crazy. Uh, yes. to this guy. Uh, but, uh, the, yeah, the, I was concerned that the cooler would have clearance issues with either the GPU or the RAM. I got, like, really flat Vulcan, uh, team RAM. It's just not hit at all. So, uh, moral of the story is, uh, I'm glad that everything is so expensive except for coolers and cases. Um... Now, that's such a big bummer, the the recent, like, tariffs from the US, and the, like, triply increased demand, like, there's just more things trying to use GPUs now, to the point where now, if you want to buy a new, uh, 3080 in this country, like, the thing was announced for $1,130, you now have to pay two grand for, like, someone, or for a 3080. You may be able to get one for, like, 1500. This person's got a picture. They might be important. So I think the chief is the important person here. Um, so now is an absolutely like filth time. Actually, you want to know what's the best thing as well? Um, so like 2000 bucks to buy a new 3080. Um, but uh, everyone always notes um, a company called Techfast. They're, they do OEM builds, but they, they don't install Windows as a default. Um, they seem like a pretty like techy focused um, or, or a savvy kind of um, crowd. Uh, but they do a lot of deals on Ozbargain. They've got one, I'm not sponsored by the way, I swear. They've got one that literally you get a, a rig with a, a 10400F, 16 gigs of RAM, dual channel as well, which is nice. And a 3080, as well as like a half terabyte SSD, two and a half, I know. Um, like, the rest of it's kind of like it's a bit unimportant, but it's like the price ends up being. $2,038. Like, barely more than buying a card by itself. And you get the whole darn machine, minus Windows. So, like, that's such an amazing thing. Um, so I'd recommend, like, if you're a new person, then sure. If you're an old person, you might... 
actually get a good deal buying a pre-built and pawning off the parts. The graphics card, fortunately, can be like a bit of a... a bit of an extra, um, part to it, so... Do I have to sneak, or do I just walk in? Ah, ah okay. Okay, we're pretty good. Uh, if I can mind read, I'm gonna assume... Uh, hit the button here. You gotta hit L first. Dude, there are not. It's sad, dude. It'd have to be a shadow to sneak past me now. Is that like a clue of the century, or is that like. I don't know. Contextually, I don't see any reason to use any of my other abilities, but. Unless, like, maybe Whirlwind, like, on the flags? That seems a bit of an odd one. Something is screaming to me, not physically, um, to like, be in this place. No, that definitely doesn't seem right. Nah. Okay, I... Hmm. people will have a hidden clue. I like how they've got all this, uh, this text for, for, um, doing mind reading, but, yeah, oh, boy, is there something, if there's something, yeah, I swear. So, so, to all the people who are just tuning in, the guard has said, so there's, there's two guards, uh, blocking the way into the castle, it kind of seems like, I gotta go there. When you try and mind read the guard, he'll say, oh, like, only a shadow can come in here. Now either that's just like some fun flavor text or that's actually a clue. But if it is a clue, I've got no idea what it's referring to. I can't become a shadow at the moment. I don't think that's an ability. All of these townsfolk just kind of talk about how morally bad the, the act of ransom is. They don't really give me any tips. Uh, in fact, that's like some really weird dialogue. This person has a face. But I don't really... Like, idea number two is... Uh, they say, oh, the chef can come in. Which implies that if I'm the chef, I can come in. I say no here. Wait, oh, that might be the tip. So along an underground path. So that might be the tip that I actually need. Just explore the cave because that's the only like underground. And I gotta do this. Where could it be? I don't think I even saw an extra way here. Might as well use it. Uh, how do you get back out? How do you get back out? Because that... Like, I can't go down here any closer and... Frost doesn't reach. Like, that kind of looks like it's just a... Oh, there you go. Nice. 
But, yeah, and there's no other path outside here. No hidden door, no nothing. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be an interesting one to figure out. Uh, it really doesn't look like there's anything else here. And the fact that there's no enemies also kind of implies that there's not really anything too huge there. Um, I have a small idea that maybe that rock in the center like becomes something because like there's a ledge to slide down, there's walking all the way around here just to get to there. That seems odd. So if there's an underground path, I think there'd be an entrance somewhere here or outside. Um, Stones. Nice. Where would a cave be such that they travel through it? Do you know? That's the wrong ability. That's also not the right ability. Hmm. think of anywhere else really like the the set of tools that's the important part only thing that's I, I can think is like can I go down the well no there's frogs hmm uh, so as a as a plea to the viewers uh, if you want to I know I said no spoilers, but like, yeah, if you wanna, like, just drop a small hint, feel free, cause, uh... I'm really not too sure what they intend for here. Hint. Oh, thank you. Thank you, hints. Uh... Yeah, the... I have a feeling like this rock is something. In fact, can't I... Oh, he can't, like, grow rocks. Not yet. That obviously seems like you slide down if you're up here, but then... I'm wondering, you can work your way around... For what? Cliff wall? Uh... I feel like there must be something... Reasonably important because you can come here after you've got the um the ice thingy. And yeah, you'd have to be a shadow to sneak past me. And then he mentions the freaking thing. Hmm. I'm gonna have to call on on Lumpo here. I just don't see a way at the moment. Cause this cave is nothing and then the only other thing I can do is by going straight into town to which this guy just goes, I can't let you in. Well he he gives it away. That guy flat out gives it away. So, like, they're just giving away the immediate. But then, yeah, like, underground cave afterwards? Not too sure. Uh... I don't really think there's a, uh... Any reason to return here. At all. And then 
and that's the beginning of the game. Right here. So unless, like, it involves returning back here, but... If I did have to return back here, you think there'd be, like, more lines of dialogue relating to it? Instead, it just kind of looks like... Town. It's just a town. That's it. Oh, wait a minute. This might be a thing. This doesn't seem like what I'm supposed to do, but uh, if it does contain something useful... That's probably just a stat buff, so nothing hugely important. You can do it twice as well, that's the best part. Oh, they gaffed on me the second time. They're gonna gaff on me three times? They did. Hmm. I'm legitimately quite, quite lost. I'm not too sure where they really intend for me to, to get to. Like, and... <sighs> hmm. Best I can think is, like, there's a place with water puddles, and you can use the, uh, the ice thingy on the person, because it is at this point in the game, after, after revisiting the town, the very last thing I did after the tower, off of the lighthouse was I revisited the town and got the person back into my party. Which means it's at that point onwards that I could be able to go places which required the freeze. Which makes me think it is inside the town. And someone mentions I appreciate it makes the noise again. Someone mentions that only the chef can get in, and the chef knows that he went through an underground tunnel. But that's it. I can't, like, mo go in, because every time I press A, he just goes, you hear frogs. I can't, like, walk into it. Um, I don't see any other additional caves. I don't see any entrances in any other buildings. You can't leave. The best that I can think of is that I need like an earth bending ability of some kind to raise these rocks such that that forms a walkway which lets me go around the outside and inevitably reach, I guess, this dead end? I don't know why I'd want to be at that dead end. That makes me think maybe it's not actually important and it's just me thinking that there's something there. But then the question still begs. It's like, this guy gets blindfolded and then walks to this castle. Can't I just like be evil and just like beat people up? Look, that's it. Just, just let me do that. Uh, I don't see any other walkways here. The best I got is uh, maybe windy? Maybe? But... That just seems like this doesn't hit on top, there's always it's underneath. Doesn't seem quite like it. That seems to be all my options related to this town. Now, yeah, there may be something else. Uh, I guess there's the town full of tree people. But... Is that actually, like... The place I go to? Well... I can't figure anything else out here, so it's worth a visit. It's worth a check-in. So that's a shame. That's a shame that like I'm now getting a bit lost. I haven't pulled any like bad logic, have I? Like it all seems sound. It all seems reasonable. That the moment I get this person. I'd either need to heal or something, which nothing looked like cure poison or play. Nothing looked like play. 
Everything seemed like non faith related in that town. Hmm. So, hopefully, hopefully, what I try and do is I, I try and apply just some reasoning, just try and go like, what's the things? Remember these wise words? You're trying something, it's wrong. You know that? That makes me think. That's definitely a, um, a, uh, a, a very wisdom <laughs> kind of statement there. Wisdom Baby said that? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Wisdom Baby. Oh, if you guys haven't seen Wisdom Baby, I swear. You'll thank me later. Alright, these guys are really weak. They gave me, what, 15 experience? How much experience do I have? 5,000. That's way too much. Okay. So, uh, there's this cave. It goes towards the cave direction. Um, oh. And then we've got the town. This is the village place. This is... Oh... Maybe that's what I do. Maybe I just heal everyone in the town. Or not. It played the music, which meant I obviously highlighted something, right? I guess not. What are the colors? It... Mm, maybe it just picks a color. Also, yeah, you tell me I don't heal the, uh, the townsfolk. Also, cure poison seemed to be... Uh, not a, not a world option. Uh, do I have Immol on the map? That wasn't, oh, that was this place. Okay, so everyone mentions Immol. They mentioned the place that, like, I gotta get to. So... Hmm. Uh, fortunately, in uh, non political news and just like other techy stuff, other gamey stuff, I don't really think anything's happened in the past week. Um, it's been pretty quiet, I guess, because end of year you got no more announcements. Um, beginning of year you've got effectively some follow on releases. But I don't really think I've got anything, like, too huge to mention. I've been playing, um... Uh, oh, I played the, um... The, the Leaf Blower Idol game, and I surprisingly got at least to every Steam achievement. I think there may be a little bit more content afterwards. Um... So, all of these people are screwed. I just want to, like, clarify that. I really don't want to just go towards the, um, the, the forest again. I feel like I've only got one or two options. Either there is something in the town that I have no idea about, or, or, there's something in Immel that I just missed. But I feel like when I've got the character, that seems to be it. And this is a bridge that I just can't go over because the guy on the other side has turned into a thing. <sighs> this is the Blunder Waste Everyone Time session. Again. Maybe that is why I like stop playing, because I, I just got lost. I don't know. I remember having like a really like clear time Last time it was like, oh, okay, like I go towards the tower and then that's it. But alas, I don't have people whose absolute favorite games this game is in the chat. So
Maybe they saw the uh, almost Weezer uh, name of the stream and then said, nah, that guy's gonna talk about OK Human. It's alright. I'm not, I'm not a avid Weezer follower, so I don't know anything about uh, how good this album is relatively to other things they've done. Uh, apart from, I still prefer Pinkerton. That's it, really. That's all I can say. Uh, album is pretty straight chamber pop. I don't think it's offensive, it's just that it exists. And it's reasonably slick. a lot of like interesting music that's like coming out. I listened to um a very oh did someone ping me 50 million times on Discord? That's probably why I'm not knowing where I'm going. Because oh oh nice <laughs> nice thank you guys thank you guys very much <laughs> Okay, so th that screams. <laughs> Get that in the chat, don't worry. Um, <laughs> so we got the, the landslide. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and really figure this out. And uh, all right, I'm not I'm not the only person here who like concedes on a freaking like a game facts moment. Cause legit, legit, I'm wandering around. I've got a stream. I don't want to just like wander around for an entire like hour and a bit. I have no idea where I'm going, because that's not fun content. That's not fun content to watch, and that's not fun content to, to listen to, especially when uh, the amount of commentary I have uh, seems to seize a bit. Um, I've got like an older topic I, I can mention, but it's not particularly relevant or amazing. I might as well mention it while I walk over to Immel. Uh, so I tried recently playing some Metroid Prime Randomizer. I'm really curious how people do it, because I, I also have no idea how you even get up on that ledge, on that higher ledge. I have no people, no idea how people do Metroid Prime Randomizers. Um, not as in like a, oh, how do you get your randomizer to work? More like, how do you like not get stuck immediately? Because you have to get, you have to get the missiles. Uh, I can't seem to pull off the scan visor skip, or the, um, yeah, the, the scan visor zip to the, skip, to the, uh, space jump routes. Um, and I feel like that's a, that's a clear one where it's like, that needs to be the random item that you use. But then there's a lot of times when it's like, okay, well you've got randomized elevators apart from the, the first one you have to use. And... Then it's like, okay, well, like, after you get the missiles, the next thing you need to get is the, um, Morph Ball. So you can go to the Morph Ball, but it may not always be a Morph Ball. And you need at least either the Morph Ball or the Space Jump. You can get maybe the Morph Ball, uh, boost, but without the ball, you can't do anything. And without the, like, without the Space Jump, that limits a lot of places. Um, and then like I'd get into an ele- or like another elevator, because once you've got the missiles you can at least go into the other elevator. And then it's like sometimes it takes me into the bottom of the face of mines when I don't have any beams. Or I'd, I'd sometimes get the ice beam and it's like, you know, you get walled out of places really frequently. And I don't really know what to do unless I know of a lot of exploits, because I feel like there's quite a few like skips, like you can kind of glitch your way into the wall in various places. Um, but I don't know how people really do it, I just would constantly get stuck, like, really early on. So... Oh, there goes my phone. Someone is streaming. Is it me? Who knows? Maybe. Uh, I'll give myself like five minutes and if I can't figure it out in all swear. So, okay, so every one of these people say they're fine. 
or like everything's all good. This seems to be like the one thing. Oh. Yeah, I didn't realize you could walk up that high and then I'm like, yeah, just move that. Just because people say they're fine doesn't mean they are. True. Though all these people are like, all of my family have died from, like, this illness, and then you're just like, oh, how do you, like, turn? You gotta, like, turn in the while moving? That's quite bizarre. Or... How do you get the snowman to, like, not be in the way? Oh, duh. I'm in the mine. That's... That's just a gin! That's just a gin! I don't... I don't need that! <laughs> Is he just gonna join me? He's just gonna join me. Okay, sure. I'll, I'll, like, I'll take it. But... But... It's not... It's not what I need. It's not what I need at all. I swear. Can't do that voice for a while. Um, and the snowman has teleported back up. Well, someone who's probably re-watching this is going to scream at the end of the last video and then go, Ah, he figured it out eventually. 46 minutes into a recording session. He figured it out. So yeah, like this guy says, The Shining, yeah, Mia will be leaving us soon. Like, okay. And then I go to the church, specifically because this was where she was, and she said, Come back and see me all grown up. Is that like sequel bait? Every single one of these people say, Everything's fine. You can leave. Please. So now, where do you go? Everything's back to normal. The, the only place that, or I guess there's two places that bring up some conflict. You got the tree place, and then you got the town with the guy, with the, the guys being kidnapped. That one seems more likely considering you've got the gate. Like, I uncovered stuff specifically after doing this, but I've got no idea how to continue on. So, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna maybe, maybe try and dance around. And if it ain't working, I'm gonna throw out the Game Facts book. And people can yell at me for using Game Facts. I feel like I used it way back in the day because I swear I had gotten past this point. Uh, in, in the uh, ye olde Let's Play that should not be mentioned and definitely was not ever finished. But. Someone's also yelling at me because I probably know a puzzle here and I'm just like. Pokemon Gold? Okay, whoops. Okay, wise guy. I, I, I played Diamond, not Platinum. <laughs> Mr. I use I before E on Twitch for some reason. Come on. <laughs> I'm calling out there. <laughs> Imagine being like one of these enemies and you're just minding your own business and then this guy like... Fest Daddy was taken. Who takes Fest Daddy with the wrong spelling? That's what I want to know. Because, like, I've legitimately, like, never found a service with, with Beandao ever taken. I guess, I guess like, Fest Deity is a, uh, a, a gaming, you know, item, but... Same with my name. Except Twitch. And then I'm surprised that, like, EI was taken, but IE was fine. Or, like, without an extra number, because I know you you have... Do you have a 1 at the end of, like, some of your accounts as well? So it's, like, first 81. You just have the 1 at the end of this one. Ah, uh, oh, so did you have first 81? Ah, uh, okay, and then you wanted to get rid of first 81, but you couldn't get... Fierce Daddy, you had to get Fierce Daddy. Okay.
Man, I wish the random encounters would like cool it a little bit on the overworld. Or, at the very least, can I get like a mount, a ship, or something? There's a fair bit of walking. I feel like I might be, you know, finishing that first continent. Yeah, you gotta walk a fair bit to get out of here. And then you gotta go to the cave for a brief moment, yeah. Alright, so what is this, 51 minutes into the recording and I've made virtually no progress? That seems like... <laughs> I felt like that happened quite a bit in, in various other videos I've done. Use the seven PP one. Why not? Oh, you see that it bounced twice. That's how you know it's it's very strong. I think I commented on computer parts. Um, I didn't go into like the hugest detail, but yeah, it's it seems to be because uh, there's something else that's come up which requires parts to be, uh, I guess, parts to be used up by. I, th I don't know if it's governments, but just like some other increase on costs, and it's just like oh, like that's the last thing. Never mind that we've got ridiculously high demand because AMD have released. Not much to satiate the, uh, you know, the ever-growing market, and then on top of that, RTX. I think the 2000s were a lot better than people like giving credit for, um, or at least the 2060 was. Uh, I think the 2060 was like a pretty good card. People sleep on it. Um, maybe like okay, the supers, sure, but then it's like, well, then the super. Uh, I guess they also cost a bit more, like at launch already, like. They're all higher costs than their light, uh, earlier generation counterparts, but... And, okay, that music legit makes me really think there's something in there. Okay, so... Let me r run down the facts again. You go into the town. The two people guarding the front of the town before you can come in here will hint that this is the way to get it. Now, that makes sense. They don't give you any additional hits. No one else seems to really comment on stuff apart from just not allowing the castle. Except for one guy who mentions the chef in the inn can go into the castle. You can go up to him, you can ask, how did you get in? He says he was blindfolded, I heard my footsteps echoing so it must have been an underground path. If you say no, he doesn't really, or he says ham it, I guess it's that. It's kind of weird that like you can't go to the menu while... Oh, you hit select. Okay. So you can mind read him. And he just says he feels bad. He doesn't give you any hints. Now, I've got a feeling maybe it's like behind this fire. Because uh, cave, maybe. Um, but I've got nothing to put out fire. The best I've got is frost. But I don't think that puts out fires. No, it, it never puts out fires. There doesn't seem to be anything else apart from this well, which seems to indicate that there's frogs, but I've got nothing. So, I will concede. I will look up one brief bit of game facts, close it, and then go, oh, okay. How was I supposed to know? Like that. That would be the feeling. So, we'll click the first one. Guide and walkthrough from BF Gamer. Uh, it's probably going to spoil other things. Uh, including, maybe, just, I'm going the wrong way. So I'm going to go to the chapter, and I will describe this out loud. The chapter, The Lighthouse. Now that seems to be quite clear, that like, okay, Mercury, Lighthouse, 
Okay, then it says, Now Mia has joined your team forever. That's at the end of the chapter. The flooded town, while the lighthouse has been lit, or, you or has been light, okay, but you must go on, exit the lighthouse, and go to Immel and buy the latest weapons now. Remember, tread the napa powder and remove the tree spell from the people, so head back to Tret and give them the, wa the water out of the bottle. You know- <sighs> And then go back to Billabank, because it doesn't seem like- Okay, okay. So that seems to be the thing. That seems to be the thing. Now... Yeah, I probably should have remembered the magic water. But... But, in my defense, uh... Did you remember that? I don't remember that. Okay. The rest of it I will keep closed lips, because I don't want to see all of that stuff. But... Okay, so now... And, and also to Tret, as in the freaking, like, the tree. So I gotta cure the tree, which makes sense that the tree is the one who needs the, the cure. It's just like, ugh. So, point is, go, go back to computer and talk for like five minutes while I wander all the way back again. But still, you, you gotta wander a bit back anyways, then you gotta do all the, the puzzle again. Um, yeah, now is like a weird time to be buying computer parts, and the worst... The worst thing as well is that it seems to be exclusively the DIY market. I don't know, I, like, pre built seem to not be going drastically up in the price. They're just natural, you know, um, price goes up, like, newer part costs more, like, that seems to happen a fair bit, sure. Um, but... Yeah, like, I, and I'm amazed that the, uh, that the, the tech fast computer does cost as low as it does. So I'm curious if whether, like, we're just gonna see the DIY space just completely crumble. Um, not completely crumble, but definitely, like, and especially compared to consoles, like, in Australia, as I mentioned, like, 3080, at least 1500, probably 2000, which is crazy for a product that launched at 11.39 and then like Xbox Series X PS5 once you can get them they will not be above 750 bucks uh like what you do have to do is you do have to buy games unless you just wing it with the Xbox Game Pass which sure that's that's the thing if you've got a ton of an existing library and you want to play that existing library like you're locked into a platform anyway but I'd also say if you've got an existing library that's that massive you probably don't have that many games that do require a 3080 to begin with so you know I'm surprised the n number of games that require a super speedy SSD and the answer is zero the, like the best you had was uh, Batman Arkham Knight which required like some better texture streaming um, for people who installed the game on the same drives that they'd like run their operating system on and usually like they'd struggle on disk rates, because there's only, you know, you're doing all this work anyway. You got Windows malware in the back, like, what can you do? So, um, but, like, even, even Cyberpunk, even Cyberpunk is just like, you know, it doesn't need a super fast SSD. It kind of likes it, doesn't really need it. Um, I'm curious if we're, when we're gonna get that game that, like, really does struggle on the, the disc reading. Um... But, yeah, it seems to be the, the age-old, it's the graphics. And slightly the processor, because the old consoles had really, like, not weak processors, but, uh... People tried pushing them a lot harder, like, between 2013 and 2020. Um... And Cyberpunk is the perfect example. That game runs poorly on the base model. The ones that have the slower processors. So... Well, I guess I got slower a couple of things, but processor is the, uh, is the, the winning number on this one. 
Um, so yeah, I'm curious if we will see people just go, hey, console is just cheaper and significantly cheaper um, to the point where like, there's no point, well no point, but just yeah, I like new people will skip the PC because it's just very expensive. Well, maybe they won't, because if you're a new person to a PC, you're usually a new person to building PC, and you probably won't. You just buy parts. You might know what the parts do, but honestly, like, I'd say, like, a fifth of people who know what the parts do probably would handle it themselves. There's nothing, like, wrong with that. It's just definitely, like, well, if you're not the one buying it yourself, then you're probably not the one... Uh, worrying too much about the cost, because the OEMs get it for a good price anyway. They don't have to worry too much about the market, necessarily. They just worry about, like, their own market. Uh... I guess before you had all these, like, shortages here, I remember the Switch. The Switch should have been the, the big sign. Uh, not that Switch. But, like... The Switch was in, like, such hard supply, um, for all of 2020. Uh, and in fact, not even all of 2020, like, leading up to 2020. It was hard, like, around 2017. It was hard, uh, maybe 2018, 2019 was okay. Sorted itself out. But then, it's like... Yeah, the Animal Crossing was just, like, you know, push it over again. It's just, like, there's so much like demand for a switch and suddenly switch stopped being that slightly discounted price it ended up reaching 470 bucks again okay so this guy is dead and and you know it's him because it chucks the menu open it chucks the menu open so i go to item and i've got the magic water is it the hermes water or is it the yeah it's probably the hermes water You know, someone probably would have made mention to the fact that, like, this water heals all, or this guy kind of mentioned it. Ooh, look at that. Just pour water in it. Bruh. Nice. You have a favor to ask me? Yes, yeah, straight. You must turn the people of Kalima into humans again. That is right, I must hurry. Yeah, you gotta listen to Yanni there. Whoop. Easy. Easy. I only style my- Ah! Gems from the sky- Nah, it doesn't mean that. I know you don't want to believe, but nothing else makes sense. Ah, the corruption. What is this music? This is very action-y music for I just healed a tree who just cured a curse, like... Have any of these saplings been transformed by the stone threat? Okay. Ah, okay. Oh, Yanni, you were given powers too. Ah. Yanni, what in the world are you doing? What did you see, Yanni? Ah, and beyond the river. Ah, oh, south of the river. South across the river, yep. I appreciate this person is like, you have done a great service also, uh... Thank you, GameFAQs, for also mentioning that that exists. I gotta, I gotta really get used to that being a thing. Uh, so I can visit the town here, can't I? And they will be cured. 
Hi there. This is Colima. Cool. Oh, my sister's not picking up. She's definitely making some noises. Do I pronounce it Zion or do I say like Shein or something? Maybe we can restore peace to the forest. I I've really got to figure out if like someone was blocking the way to this guy right here, because I swear. Daddy told me to see. Uh, what? Oh, mm 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 mm. Okay, really? Deep with- oh wait, the kid also knows the secret. It's outside the town. And in the forest? Did he say in the forest? Just want to clarify that. In the forest. Hidden deep in the forest. Oh, don't, don't just rush purchase. I'm not struggling too hard, so I'll, I'll skip the purchases for now. Maybe I'll find something good later. Uh, and this is just makeshift church. Okay. So, in the forest, he's got a secret. What's the secret? I don't know. I assume it's to get in there, because I legitimately cannot find how you get in there apart from just you're underground somewhere, but... Nothing screams out to me yet. Uh, as much as I'd like to check the forest, I feel like I've checked it 50 million times. Too much work. Don't need it. Don't need it. Oh yeah, these guys are here. Just a gang of two. Ah. Oh. oh, person actually died. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Alright, so then he returned to the town where this guy. So then you return back here when you tell the king you did it. Cutscene, I can continue on with my life. It's. Sir. Oh, wow. Yeah, we did. Oh. Okay. How is, what law does this break, by the way? Uh, Isaac and Company. There we go. Nice. No? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. Choose a token? Sure. Okay. Well, how nice of him. Take you to the treasure room. Dude, I'm excited. Do I just get one? 
a single item from the four chests. Do I get to see what's in them? I got shafted, didn't I? I just went for the first one, I was like, yep. Because a vial isn't like... A vial is just a freaking... Like... A good heal. That's it. <laughs> And he's got some stuff behind him, so I've got the feeling that... Oh. We're gonna cure him of all of his ails. You're free. Alright, maybe this guy tells me a thing. First of all, let's stick down now, because I do run that a lot. Oh, what is it? What is he just saying here? Like, I don't want you to feel bad, so I'll tell you something good. You can't mind read the chest, so... I think he, he just knows I got shafted. Okay, I... This is... This is definitely... Dialogue. Okay. Sure. Uh... You're the best. You just gotta think. You return to monkey? What's before monkey? The tree. It's just the inevitable end point. Is that a door? No. This is like such like odd looking sprite work, I swear. Alright, there's no one on the left side. This is not finished. He's just getting out of his promise. Oh, did the game just like nice? Uh, is this a nah? Okay. Uh, so now I've got the vial. They're telling me to just go to the south. And that makes sense. That makes sense. Where to the south? Uh... Oh, wait! The bridge! Because there were people on the bridge. Which... Is all the way back over there. Yep. Okay. Okay. Alright, I, I will actually do new content in this stream. You're welcome. Dude, yeah, I swear. What? Is that, wait, is that the current PogChamp? Oh, okay. Ah, oh, legit, this new PogChamp of the day. I'm just like, is this, is this a custom emote or is this like... Always throws me off. Always throws me off. This is when you drop like a, a, a Germany mode on me. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, okay. Eat Pog Champ. Yeah, there it is. One day I'll understand the German memes. For now. Only partners can can uh, have their own emotes, right? So now I come back here and this guy is here and he's like, Oh, yeah, you come across? Like, oh, uh, sure. Oh my goodness, wow. Thank you, nice. Uh, so let's just checkpoint that.
Oh, a lot of ooze. A lot of the ooze. Doesn't everyone love the ooze? So I'm definitely looking forward to I guess I've got some exciting stuff happening this week just just in the personal life and I, I feel like it's definitely good to not anything like hugely groundbreaking, but just like you know, oh, it's nice to like catch up with friends and just like, you know, ease into, ease into getting back to, to normalcy and other exciting things. That, <laughs> I want, I wanted to say it. How'd you get it? Did the bridge open again? Oh wow. Oh, is this the uh, the Asia place? Yeah, they got the monks. They got the bold monks. I think they mentioned Xian, and they've got Pagoda. That's not Pagoda. No, not really. Dude, I, I absolutely love, like, the idea of, um... That's just gonna, like... Look up your PP and then break. Nice. Um, I love the idea of, like, the self-spiritualism and, and quite a fair bit of this, like... I guess it's particularly a Buddhist thing, isn't it? Oh snap, he's pulled it back on you. Oh. Fortunately we are not ordinary men, and you are also apparently not an ordinary man. The trials. Oh, fine. What's with trials? That always seems to be the case. Oop. Uh What if I keep trying to read? <laughs> nice! Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Uh... The waterfall's not open, like, from here, is it? Like, that's not... Nah. What do you do when, like, someone knows you're reading their mind? So this is the guy, and they'll be like, yeah, okay. Ooh, jeez. Ooh. So this is just gonna be a, uh, a temple of some kind. That is... Oh, really? It's... Th that's the kind of game we're playing? We're playing this kind of game? Ooh, I get to also do the, the Kirin summon. Give him the gust. Well, that's just gonna be a pain. What is this thing? Oh yeah, this one. Yeah, the big doggy thing. Nice. That's cool. Uh, I guess we can just summon. You know, you're, you're just gonna attack to give me a wipe. Please, and give me a really useless fizz, or I could cast ice. I assume this guy's gonna have, like, at least above normal health. If it's like the, um, the can of boxes from, uh, Dragon Quest, it's like, yeah, they're gonna be kinda tough. Not too tough, but kinda tough. Like, kinda like a mini boss. It's just like, it's just like a mini boss. Uh, so you can't do anything for the moment. Yeah, I guess you can just cast Inspire. Uh, you are back into it, and you will do your summon, and you can Mercury... Mercury? Fizz. You can Fizz. There we go. Oh, that kills. Nice amount of damage. Oof. Oh, cool. Game ticket? Wow, they are just the Dragon Quest enemies, aren't they? Uh, 
Uh, okay, so uh, I assume this is going to be platforming central. Uh, though I guess I go right in. Well, what's up? It keeps going as well. Hold on, wait, wait a minute. Birth to shadows. Hmm. Uh, not much what's up with you. Dude, I... Oh, okay, I'm glad I addressed going that way. Um... Uh... <laughs> oh... Okay, don't touch that, but also... Rays of light. Okay, so that'll be a come to the end. Look at this dude! Look at this dude on the right! Dude, imagine having that kind of swagger. I swear. That guy is living the dream. Here I am just casting like all the elemental kind of attacks, just hoping for the best. That's a fair bit of experience. Okay, so I guess I can go this way and... Then we just go up and away I go. Up I go. So I assume I go down in the corners and reveal something. Why did they do me like this? I thought that wouldn't actually fit. Ooh! Ooh! Check that out! So Arctic Blade. So that's good on you, but really good on, on Isaac. Okay, we'll take, we'll take over that. And then you've got a bandit sword, which is just not good. And I've got nothing else to really give to anyone else at the moment. And I've decided to come in here without really investing in any new equipment. But, I don't know, I don't feel like I'm struggling at the moment. Usually, usually I find that, like, if you're struggling in the dungeon, that's, that's usually when you should start investing. I guess this actually could be a man-made dungeon and not just like RPG puzzle. There's a lot of that RPG puzzle in like not only this game, but just like games around this era, weren't there? I'm just like going around like this is a great game, guys. What's with this? Oh, I see. See how it is. Uh, this guy's not going down without a fight, is he? That's gonna be interesting. I've got three of these guys now. There we go. There we go. Okay, so this guy is 100% going to mess up my day, but that's okay because I've come slightly prepared. I don't know if I've come prepared. We'll, we'll just see how we go. I don't think I'll be too bad. Plasma! Yeah, that's not actually too bad. That's not too bad. He moves like a fever. And he got the illusion. Nice. Uh, I will just legit... Oh, nice as well. That's cool. Uh, so I might just cast Cure because I don't trust myself on that one. Uh, and I can cast... Uh, alright. I do appreciate these gents. They're very, they're good fun mini bosses. Yeah, nothing really too strong. Nothing, nothing too ridiculous. Okay. Give myself a bit more resistance, so that's actually attack. Uh, so now I guess I can unleash three thingies. Uh, I'll go plasma. I can plasma back. How's it feel? Twenty-five damage. Oh, that was it. Okay. Wow. So it's a Jupiter gym, which makes me want to continue giving it down here. But I can only give two. I can only give two. 
I, I doesn't seem like I can, like, it doesn't seem like I can give it. That's just up. That's just heading up. So, if it is two, that makes sense. Now, uh, does he lose all of his, like, stuff while I've got this on him? I mean, if I put him on, like, standby, that means that he's off. Which means, yeah, actually. Yeah, he gains all these other ones, but... But he does also gain a jolly. You do get the stat boost. But not having the attacks is interesting. I'll put him on standby, actually. That also means, maybe I can... Can I do a three summon, or is that out of the question at the moment? We'll see. Uh, okay, so I'm back there, uh, that can go up, which I will need to go, okay, so I can't sail that across just yet, so I think I can sail this up, twice, oh, wait, no, I only need it once, because then I can do the jump here, and then come back around and sail that up. This seems like a bonus though. That is 100% a bonus. Dragon's Eye. Is that just equipment? I always go into the wrong menu. Dragon's Eye. No, that's that's definitely a, a quest item. No door. Uh oh. It's a spooky ghost. So I can summon, yeah, I can summon three. Ooh. I'll save it for a tough enemy. This darn ghost thing, I swear. It's a different ghost enemy, I know. That's the best part. So now I can jump back here, and I'm up here on this ledge. Which means, unless this activates like a. Okay, that 100% is. Why do this okay? I don't know where to put it. Ah! Ah, okay. So I think Matt, uh, maybe I walk back, and that's a path on the high ledge. That seems about correct. I'm enjoying these puzzles, I'll tell you. Oh, mm -mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's all fine. Is that the way to get back? I feel like I've just gone, like, a really long way. Oof, ouch. I feel like I did just go the long way. But that's okay, because now... That should be a bridge! Yeah! That's cool. What's the odds of the boss around the corner? What's the odds there's a boss around the corner? I swear. I swear there's gonna be there's gonna be a dude there. That looks like it just leads back, because that's gonna go back down into the center room, which had a thing. And Okay, fine. The secret of key shall be revealed to the disciples of truth. Is that just an item? We'll learn force. Uh, if I just pass you the uh, the lucky metal. So with this equipped, I have force, right? As a synergy, yeah. So force strike a distant object. So I'm curious what I look for specifically when I use that, but that might be useful. That's like the kid who's like, there's the, the girl doing, um, she's got like a, a jump rope or something, and she's like spinning around and the kid just like walks straight through it, 100% unfazed. You know what I mean. Ah. What a shame I didn't get to use the super ability. 
I know this person goes first. Maybe I should have just like... Hold on, I'll, I will legitimately just get into another fight. Or, even better, defend, defend, summon it. Is that... wait, hold on, is it for... Yeah, it's for that one. Okay, four times. Oh my gosh, that's a fair bit of damage. So I got it. Are you happy? Uh, nah. But you must have. Oh, sure. Got it. Cool. Well, I was expecting a boss fight of some variety. Uh, uh. So this is key. Yes, you just call it called force by the Western world. It really is spiritual power. I'll teach you, as promised. Use this power to go through the forest. What would happen if you let loose this energy in the forest? Uh, nah. Ah. No, I'm really not curious. No, I'm not. Okay, fine. I guess so, yeah. Okay, sure. And he's done. So just find monsters in the forest? That sounds simple enough. I don't see any concern about that. Not at all. Where's the forest? Uh, I always hit select this at start. Oh. Where's the forest? Look at this dude! Oh, and he's gone. Oh, does that mean that I then use the force to yeet him out? So I'll do that with the frogs in the other place, okay. And then that's where I know where I'm going. Forest evolution kind of business, isn't it? And other than that, return to monkey. We got things, and also that comes back to this guy. Yeah, so if I go to Isaac right now, he's just got like wildly different attacks. But he does still have Gaia as an attack. I guess it's that. And his stats are better. Well, unless his agility is better. So, in the same way that people probably yelled at me for like how little of Final Fantasy VII's magic system I actually understood by the time I beat the game, which by the way, like how much do you really need to know if I didn't even know like how equipping worked and yet I still managed to beat the game at around level 28. I'm just saying. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll... Oh yeah, he can't heal. <laughs> he can't heal and he's got it. Um... Legit, I swear, like, there are some comments that, like, rip into me for, like, not knowing how, uh, how certain mechanics work in Final Fantasy VII. I'm like, sometimes that stuff just kind of goes over my head. Sometimes. Not all the time. Yeet! Hi there. Oh, I'm gonna fight ya! Oh, snap, he's gonna fight me. Uh, I'm just gonna hope he's not too rough. Probably not too bad. Ooh. Now that is a jelly. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Snap! That sleep did a lot of damage. That sleep did a lot of damage. Uh, he's Venus, and... He's just recovering, you can just go for attack. And... You could use Breeze, you might as well. Uh, no one needs heals, so you might as well just go in with an ice. I really... Uh, one thing I absolutely love about RPGs is just that, like, feeling of, like, mastery, even though... I'm really doing the same thing over and over again. It's just nice that, like, you see better effects out of it.
It's always, always classic, and I'm back to the log pushing. I'm back to the log pushing. I swear this never gets old. Can I eat that? Can I eat that? Can I, can I, can I get it? Hold on. Maybe I gotta stand a bit lower. Oh, that really does look like you can get it. But it's not liking me. Nah, that's such a shame. Uh, oh, unless that's the hand one. Unless that's cat. That... Seems a little, a little out of reach. And it's probably just a nut. This is when chat goes again. Oh, I can't believe you don't know this mechanic. You demonstrated it earlier, and you forgot about it. I'm like, oh, did I? Like, it was a lot closer before. Man, I'm really getting kind of kicked out there. It's a bit more experience, but... Kicked nonetheless. And Ivan has, like, no health. Uh, well, considering this stops here, I'm gonna guess I'm gonna have another fight in roughly the same position I was in just before. Nice. Ouch. Ouch. Each. Okay, Ivan's gonna have way more health now, right? Right? <laughs> so there we go. In the water, and... We trust it. Hey, it's got the monk. The monkey. Ah! Five PP magic attacks in sequence. That's one thing, it's a little bit cumbersome to do uh, more random battles after a while. Kill the guy on the left. There we go. Okay. Uh, secure. I should really be using Mia for this. Uh, he went the only direction. Skellington. Or, uh, Bone Fighter. Aren't we all Bone Fighters? I think the only, like, non Bone Fighter would be, like, a slime or something. Okay. Uh, first one gonna be uh, a hostile one. Oh no, it's the correct one. And he goes down. Well, I feel like being a bit sadistic, so and training because trust RPGs. They're gonna do the thing where it's like. I'm gonna hope I'm big braining this. I'm not. I'm not big braining this. So what? What was that? What was that? One went one direction. The other went the other direction. You think the third direction would be like maybe a, a clue there? But no, no. I don't know. Yeet! Mia is now level 13, and definitely has way more health than Ivan. Jeez, Ivan. What is that? Okay, so if I go down... This seems like a transitional room. Okay, no, there's a different puzzle. 
I've got a rock. Uh, can I move that rock? Yeah. That seems like the home for the rock. Uh, I have to slide this down. That looks like it's probably going to be in the way. Nice. Oh, look at this red skull. I like how sometimes you just do an attack. Uh-oh, I got impaired. Is it because we've got like three of the the, the wind gins? Is that why? I'm not 100% sure why like sometimes your attacks are just magic infused. Um, or it could be because you're using uh, magic that belongs to other thingies. Maybe it's that? Okay, so slide this out. Uh, looks like this is probably gonna hide there. Ah, he's just here. He's just chilling here. Okay, let's give him the old one too. So, Flint, uh, you haven't done either of your things, so let's boost party attack. You've got three, so you might as well kick him with that. And you've got one, which you can probably use on yourself. So that's alright. Yada yada yada, 230 attack. That's a lot of try to run. Cheeky bugger. Cheeky bugger. He's going for it. Let's get party attack. Heal. Sure. Uh, so now, I can do Venus, I can do Fever, I can do, uh, I guess, Ray be the one, I don't know, and Nero, Nero did. Okay, Ray did alright. Oh, it's fire. Not too, that's really not that bad. Nice. Nice and easy. Am I overleveled? I don't, I can't tell. Different animation? Okay. So that's Quartz. So now I can do three. Which means now I can give that, because yeah, like you need, you need that health. Um, even though, yes, that's while it's active, of course, when it goes standby, you lose it, but I think the idea of that being there is, is neat. Just, just give, a bit, give a bit of a fighting hand. So now we'll force that, and we'll probably have a guy just beat me up, won't I? Oh, really? <laughs> oh, okay, I just walked around for it. Uh, now I've got Ragnarok, right? I might as well just use that, that'll be cool. What do you mean, give yourself a chance to get your magic back? Ooh, that's cool, I've also got Restore there. Yeet! Oh, I target one guy, I know, but that's, that's a fair bit of damage on one guy. That might not be too bad after a bit. Yeet. Okay. Yeah, what, what causes me to do a magic attack like that? Because I'm just mashing attack. I don't know. Uh, okay, so, force this guy out, unless he just jumps into the other one. Nope. He goes left. Got it. Thank you, game, for just having three of these guys. And for me missing. Nice. Green guy. He just goes down. Like, you might as well just go down. Oh, three of them? Really? You know, sometimes it may actually just be best to, to just sit back and cast magic. Because this guy doesn't cast magic. I haven't also cast magic. Like, a lot of it has no uh, supplementary magic. Oof. Oof. 
Nice. Uh, so give it a fly, and no one else really needs anything at the moment, so that's okay. Uh, we got the rock. Which has to move twice, and we gotta move past it to see it move down. Nice. Uh, that makes it look like it stops, but it doesn't. And I don't even need to. Oh, I do, maybe. Stand next to it, use the force. Here we go, what's in here? He jumps to the next one, nice. Good on him. Okay, more log pushing puzzles. Um, that looks like it's a natural just sequence of pushing things. Again, cast the blizzard right there. Undead sword, that's a fair bit of damage. Uh, he's got gin, so Chuck is the gin. Isaac's definitely got the, the damage here, so I might need better equipment in the very near future. There you go. Uh, run around. Yeah, these seem like pretty obvious things to push, just, in fact, you don't even have to push it back. It just goes right in and nothing really of it. Which I then waste all my MP again to miss. Nice. And I encounter more of these guys. I swear, the pains. Oh, snap, did he crit? Maybe. Ready to start a blizzard. It's not a good experience, but just. It's a fair bit of forcing it out, isn't it? Ah, uh, ah, uh, I'm going down. Seems kind of bossy, doesn't it? It's a bit ominous. There's no puzzle in the room. Uh, did you like how that didn't touch it? Unless it just goes right through it. Okay. Ooh. 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 Killer ape. I'd rather not return to Monkey. Oh, you can revive. Oh, dude. That's gonna be oddly contextual. Oh, snap. Well, good thing I can revive. Okay, he's delusioned. Five down, uh, you can just attack and you've still got more thingies to go with. That doesn't look like it increases this stuff. So that just revives. Half health. That's nice. And that's nice that I can do it finally without an item. Oh, this guy is going. Okay, so one, I can do Ramses. I remember Ramses, I'll tell you that. Uh... So, uh, which is better? Heat wave or volcano? That just looks like, you know, the same thing on the surface, but... Uh, did I just cast the wind one? I think I did. Nice. And I skipped Ramses as well. Cool. You'll see you next time. You'll see you next time. <laughs> I'm just mashing like R and A here. Just like... Uh, I could do Ragnarok. Or I could be responsible and actually heal people. Yeah, so the Jin's still recovering. Uh, I guess 
so I can just kick him with a plasma and then. Uh, do I trust. Oh, I guarantee it's a bit more health. Oh, okay. So Isaac's definitely got the defense here. Okay. Uh, so now I can do Flint again. I can do, like, Forge. I can do Zephyr. Uh, I can do Sleep. Or instead, I could also kill Isaac. That could work too. Ooh, snap, I'm not able to move. Okay, that's just, that's just a turn loss. Got it. Okay, not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, I guess I could just, like, unset it, but... Guy's definitely taken a bit, but he's not hitting like the absolute hardest, unless he's got like a secret attack. This seems a little mean. Well, that just took damage. That didn't even do anything. Okay. That monkey is under delusion. Uh, do I just expect quartz now, or do I just keep going with right now? It's probably right now. Uh, considering I've got like, all of this here. All the strong attacks. Okay, there you go. Nice! 1500 coins! Dude, I'm rich. And then that's... That's it, I'm through the... The forest. Okay. Uh, and maybe I should just, like... Quick heal. Wrong person. Let's just get the person with all the magic to do the healing. Easy. And at that point, I have reached... Xian. I think that will be a good point to stop for the night. I went through two dungeons, uh, I wandered around for like one hour and then managed to get those dungeons. So I think that is a clean and easy place to finish up for the night. So thank you all very much for, for watching. Um, it's definitely, it's getting quite interesting this game, you still got I guess like a lot of different mechanics to, to get through, but more uncovering the world is, uh, I think, the best thing just because, yeah, the more of the world you uncover, the less, like, you have to worry about, like, what anything is. I feel like I've seen maybe, like, nearly half the world, right? But nearly half is still maybe there's another half left. And who knows, maybe there's backtracking. We'll see. Um. Yeah, okay, this outro video goes for a minute, and I have no idea how to fill the minute, I swear. Um, so, to everyone at home, if you're watching on YouTube later, uh, you know, thank you for watching later. Or if you're watching right now on the stream, thank you very much for watching on the stream. And, uh, yeah, with that, take care, have a good one, stay safe, sleep early, pinch and a punch, first of the month.